Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, let us ask God's grace that we, like Mary, may become faithful followers of Jesus. Let us now be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. Each of them had six wings. With two, they veiled their faces. 
with two they veiled their feet, and with two they hovered aloft. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I hear the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King, in splendor robed, robed to the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. And He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you. For the Spirit of God test upon you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, No disciple is above his teacher, no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more those of his household? Therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light, what you heard, what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. 
Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid, for you are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today remind me of the saying, Where God guides, God provides. In our first reading, we heard the story of the call of Isaiah to become God's prophet. And Isaiah was hesitant because, as he said, I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Isaiah acknowledges his own weakness, his limitations and unworthiness to the great task given to him by God. But in the vision of Isaiah, he saw an angel holding an ember and with it touched his lips. It was a symbol of God purifying and cleansing the lips of Isaiah. It was as if God was giving, giving Isaiah this, the necessary skills that he need in order to do the mission of being a prophet. Where God guides, God will definitely provide. In our gospel today, we continue to read from the 10th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew, which is known as the Missionary Discourse of Jesus. In this section of the Gospel of St. Matthew, Jesus gives instructions to his disciples before sending them to mission. And again, we could see how Jesus provides his disciples not only with skills to do the mission, not only with techniques on how to be effective proclaimers of the gospel, not only with instructions on how they are to go about their mission, Jesus provides his disciples with an assurance that they should not be afraid because they are bringing God's truth. They should not be afraid because God will take care of them. That is what Jesus provided his disciples as he sends them to mission. My dear brothers and sisters, many times we are entrusted with responsibilities and tasks that seem to be beyond our capacities. May mga pinagkakatiwala sa atin na sa tingin natin, hindi natin kaya o kulang ang ating kakayanan. Pero pinapaalalahanan tayo ngayon na saan man tayo isugo ng Panginoon, anumang misyon ang ipagkatiwala niya sa atin, 
anumang responsibilidad ang dapat nating gawin. Kung yan ay galing sa Panginoon, siya rin ang magbibigay sa atin ng kinakailangan nating lakas at galing para matupad at magampanan ang mga ipinagagawa niya sa atin. My dear brothers and sisters, where does God send you? What are the mission, the responsibilities that God entrusts to you? What are the tasks that God wants you to accomplish? Do not hesitate. Do not waver. Do not be afraid. Because if it is God who is sending you, then He will also give you the necessary skills and grace to fulfill them. He will not leave you alone. Hindi kayo isusugo ng Panginoon at sasabihin niya, bahala na kayo. Hindi niya tayo, ipag, hindi niya tayo pagkakatiwalaan ng isang gawain na hindi niya ibibigay sa atin ang kinakailangan natin. God will help us every step of the way. God will provide graces so that we will succeed in His mission. For where God guides, God always provides. Please stand. Gather together as a community to celebrate the mystery of our salvation. We turn now in prayer to God our Father, conscious of His love for each one of us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, the bishops, and all who have been called to guide God's people may direct humankind to a knowledge of and belief in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may be given the grace to face difficult situations with courage, knowing that the Lord is always at our side to give us strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That young people contemplating the call to be priests or religious may overcome their doubts, fears, and uncertainties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the disabled may experience the healing and comfort that only Christ can bring. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may reap the reward of the labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. We also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, we commit our cause to you. Give us the strength to follow you even in our trials and difficulties. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang nilika Ipinagliing walang sana Pusong dalisay dakila Maria, ina ng awan